yeah, it's still pretty rough, but let's see where it can actually take this. I, I think this could be really good. The day couldn't start any better. Cup of coffee and there's snow again. Just a tiny bit. Still enough to make me happy. I just love snow, seeing everything covered and white and being transformed. I just like it. That's our neighbor. I absolutely hate him. Oh, that's annoying. Feels a little old school, me here in the kitchen early in the morning with a cup of coffee. Ever since I got the new studio, I'm just rushing to get there and be as productive as possible because all of that pressure, having people employed, having to be there first, all of the expenses, the new opportunities. So I want to try and get the maximum out of it and not like in half year regret everything or everything is failing just because I didn't work enough. That's definitely something I 100% need to avoid. But let's start with really good news. Uh, I mentioned it yesterday really quick. I will attend the dance fair. It's on the 16th and 17th of March. I will be there both days, both days speaking to you guys if you show up and of course everyone else that is there and interested if you don't know the dance fair is like a huge fair specialized on dance music electronic dance music and i'm not getting paid to say any of that but i think it's like the best event for every aspiring music producer you have like a huge place where you can check out equipment and then millions and millions of panels like non-stop from start of the day to the finish of the day where you can learn things. Be it business stuff, music production, new gear, DJing, it's all covered in, in a fairly compact space. It's not like the Amsterdam dance event where you're just lost. And at the Amsterdam dance event, you need to know people. It's more like for further connecting. The dance floor is like for the first initial connections. There is a demo drop area where you can just sit and play other people, your music, other big labels. I think Spinning has a demo drop this year, as well as Armada. So just go there, play them your music. They will directly give you feedback. And if they love it, they will sign it. My first talk will be all about, um, yeah, all about my song, all about. I would probably pick all about and run you through every single track and explain you how I made the track. And the second day is more about me and my path in the music industry. I'm still not 100% sure in which direction this will go, but will be definitely interesting. So enough talking, to the studio. Ooh, finally in the studio. Small detour to get a haircut. Looks a little bit better, I think. Today it's actually time to make music. Use the speakers, full blast. The two big screens, testing them, maybe implementing outboard gear into my production. I will start a new song today. I'm still not sure if I should continue with the one with Julia, the second one. The one that sounds a little like Calvin Harris, maybe a little bit too much. So I might have to change it a lot, but I'm still not really sure about it. And the other one is the second track I actually recorded with Gavin just like uh, one or two days after the opening of the studio. We had to rush a lot because he had to catch his flight, which he barely made. Like he told me just like 20 seconds, they already started closing the gate. So I need to double check if the song doesn't sound rushed. I, I have the feeling it sounds rushed because it was rushed, but I haven't listened to it within, yeah, like now two months. So now I can listen to it with fresh ears and actually decide if it's something I should finish. Still not 100% sure after working a couple of hours on the song, but I think this could be a follow-up to stay it's actually, it's actually not that bad. I mean, yes, some takes are a little bit rushed and not like perfect, but I think I can rescue it and make a full song out of it that is worth it to be released. My by far bigger problem is deciding between this display and that one. 
the the bigger one is bigger curved and has a 4k resolution the smaller one a tiny bit brighter and 5k resolution i know i should keep both or just stack one on top of each other but i don't have i don't have the money at the moment for that so just one of the two i will let you decide maybe this helps me you can vote up there i think that's why youtube introduced that voting kind of system to help me decide which gear to pick i i really can that's so close i also think running both displays one here connected the other one there it's not really good for the computer like the fans are all up it can't handle that much like it, it just doesn't work so i think one display is enough for for a macbook let's get really quick back to the dancer because funny enough while i was producing Wesley contacted me, he is the program director of the dance fair, the entire program, all of the artists or most of the artists are already announced, I will link it down below, that's also where you can get your tickets if you're interested. They usually sell out, you got like one and a half months time to get one. If you live close by, I'd say like three, four hours by car, definitely try to get there, it, it helped me at least to move my career a little bit. I got in contact with the right people. Also, for example, that's where I met Leonard that is now working for me. Man, that's annoying. Let's maybe disconnect one and put this down. Wesley contacted me because he wanted to get in touch with Dennis Kojo. I introduced both of them. So I think Dennis Kojo will also show up there and do a master class. There is also Mesto. Martian Garrix will be there or his label. Not sure about that. Bart B. Moore, Mr. Bell and Wiesel. Drum Complex, Mike Williams, Mark Vila. I think Lab Dead Luke should be also there. And a ton more. Just go check it out for yourself. I will now just go back to making music. Let me play you actually that, that Gavin song. I've never actually played it to you and then let me know what you think. If this could be like a, a stay follow up. I actually really love his voice and the lyrics are cool. Just, yeah, I just have to see into which direction to take it with the instrumental. Cause the vocal is like one part and it gives you a slight direction but you can still take it anywhere. So just need to figure that one out. And I don't want to make it too close to stay but still be a follow up. It's yeah, kind of in between somewhere. We're gonna stay out late cause it's only five to one, five to one. It's getting cold outside, but we'll stay until we see the sun. Oh, when I hold you, I feel alive again. When I touch you, oh. Feel alive again And I don't wanna come down Oh, oh I don't wanna come down Oh, oh I don't wanna come down Oh, Yeah, it's still pretty rough, but let's see where I can actually take this I, I think this could be released I really have to be careful at the moment because I have less and less time with the studio the school, like um, the employees and my label, like all of this is like taking away a lot of time. So whenever I make music, I need to be sure that it's actually something I can release at the end. I can't anymore do a hundred songs per year and just release five. I need to release like 10 and just make maybe 10 or 15 and just sort out the five worst ones. But that's also kind of a skill that you learn over the years to decide early on if it's something you will do or not. Vocals definitely help, because once you go through the effort of recording vocals, you will definitely try to, to finish it. So, back to work. Yeah, I got a new haircut. She recognized it. Of course. Yeah? I mean, it really looks almost the same. Dinner? First shopping. No, 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 no. It's already all closed. It's way too late. They close at 7. All supermarkets are closed at 7? Yes. Yes. That's a fact. 